Well, Nigerian police are searching for the bombers of a New Year's Eve blast that killed at least four people in Abuja. Uh, Nigeria's president is blaming a radical Muslim group that earlier claimed responsibility for Christmas Eve bombing. A viewer West Africa correspondent Scott Stearns reports. Nigerian Defense Minister Adeto Kunboy Koyode says a thorough investigation is underway to determine who planted the bomb at a crowded market near a military barracks in Abuja. He says the attackers will be tracked down and will be made to face the full wrath of the law for setting off the blast that also injured more than 20 people. All of the dead and most of those injured are civilians. President Goodluck Jonathan says it's a new and dangerous challenge to Nigerian peace and stability as the country prepares for nationwide elections in April. No one has claimed responsibility for the bombing, but the president says he believes it's the work of the militant Boko Haram group that set off a Christmas Eve bomb in the northern city of Jos that killed 80 people and wounded more than 100. The blasts follow an Independence Day bombing in Abuja in October that killed 12 people. Several people were injured Wednesday by two blasts at a political rally in southern Nigeria before the New Year's Eve blast at a popular meeting spot for soldiers and civilians. Well, we were there, we went to buy some fish with my sisters. Uh, we were waiting and the next thing I heard was this sound that was very terrible. And we all started running. I'm getting a particular spot. I stopped and realized I had this. That's all I can really say about it. When did it happen? That was at about 6 30. How, how big was the sound you heard? It was really very, very loud. Very, very, extremely loud. Because it left my ear having some funny sounds afterwards. I'm still feeling funny in my ear. I know it's the impact. Authorities say Nigerians must be vigilant in the face of the repeated bombings. Air Marshal Oluseyu Patiri told state television that civilians should now be on guard and not allow anyone to leave any packages unattended. Scott Stearns, VOA News, Dakar.